Yo, what's going on guys? I am here to talk to you guys about motivation, but before I even talk about that, I want to know how your day was. Put it down in the comment section below. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about motivation. It's a very, you know, touchy subject for me in general is because when I was growing up, I was always on the heavy side. Um, and when I was in seventh grade, I was 400 pounds and I had a lot of motivation to lose it. You know, I was bullied in school and everything like that. And you know, a lot of a lot of that stuff, you lose motivation because you know you get bullied and you get put down. But I took that as an initiative to lose the weight. I lost the weight by freshman year. You know, seventh grade to freshman year is a lot of years. And uh, I was wrestling at 171. But then all of a sudden, all this health issues and stuff happened, and I lost all the motivation. And when I moved out on my own, it went completely wrong. I ate the wrong foods. I got, I was diagnosed with low testosterone. I was on medications where I was getting more estrogen than testosterone, which is a woman hormone. Uh, I didn't know that at the time. I found this out, you know, obviously last week I was researching it. And uh, they shouldn't have been giving it to me, but I, at the time the doctors really didn't know what really know what to give me so they just gave me that and it was supposed to help me with my bipolar disorder which I was born with that um, it's a mental disorder where you get just pissed off at like any random moment um, I learned that it's a gift for me obviously I know how to control it now and I'm not you know I had a tough life and I had motivation in my life to change it and when I'm out on my own and everything, I gained a lot of, in three years when I was out living by myself. A lot of people don't understand. You're living with your parents now if you're a youngling and a young kid and you have your parents' support. I didn't have my parents' support when I was growing up. And it kind of hurts to think about it, you know. You have a lot of people out there that look, you know, really, really damn well, you know, from themselves. They have six packs and, you know, they're, they're athletic. I didn't have that, you know, I was in, I had a lot of health problems, a lot of, you know, people doubting me in my life. I had all my people in my life doubt me that I was going to be able to live on my own. And, you know, I proved them wrong. But at the same time, I do still wish that I still lived with my parents because then they would be put me in, well, my foster parents, not my real parents, of course, but my foster parents because when I was in there, I was, I was playing basketball. I was, you know, I was, I was uh, athletic, but then when that happened, when I moved out on my own and everything, I took that initiative and that motivation, you know, and I started YouTube up and everything like that, I started losing that motivation, I started becoming lazy, I started becoming, you know, I didn't want to clean or anything, and you know, a lot of people hate cleaning, and that's a fact, but, you know, when you lose a lot of motivation, it really hurts you. And motivation is the thing that keeps you pretty much active. It keeps you, you know, not overweight. I do admit I am overweight and I am trying to change my life as a whole to be able to, you know, get myself back to 188 because I'm six foot. You know, I need to be around that weight and I'm way over that. And I, you know, I've been going to the gym and I've been working on cardio and everything. And just the fact that a lot of people on the internet bully you over your weight or anything. Or I get bullied on the internet, you know, for my weight and stuff when I post videos and stuff or they, they see who I am. You know, you don't focus on the person's weight. You don't focus on their physical appearance. But in modern times, in modern world, you know, obviously we are focusing on appearance. That's the first thing we see. People don't see out of that, you know, obviously. And it's kind of sad that the way the world works now is where I feel myself that I can't get a girlfriend or stick with a girl is because of... I feel down on myself. I feel like I'm not worthy of her. I, I'm wondering why the hell is she with me, and you know why? Why not with a six-pack, six-pack athlete or something like that? You know. But the thing about it is, is I want to have a family of my own someday. And for me, when I go to the gym and stuff, I'm motivated to make videos on YouTube. I'm more motivated. I play better in Call of Duty, as you can see in this gameplay. And the, the thing about it is, is when you lose all that motivation in your life you go down in a down spiral and you have to tell yourself I can get out of this I can get out of this hole that I'm in I can make myself the way I want to be 
you know, it, I'm not against anybody that wants to, you know, stick with their overweight and overweight, be overweight and everything. If you're happy with your life, you know, stick with it. But for me, I'm not happy. I want to make a change in my life. I want to, you know, be 188 and, you know, have that six pack of my dreams and stuff. I want to do that. So I'm very motivated to do it. And the thing about it is when you motivate yourself to do something, you have to keep with it. No matter what happens. You know, the thing about me is a lot of people assume that I'm not active at all, you know, on the internet. They, they think that I sit on my ass and play video games all the time. I don't. I've been walking dogs for five years every Friday, you know. I go to the gym. You know, I do a lot of the stuff on the sides that people don't understand. Just the way my physical appearance looks doesn't mean that I'm not, you know, out of shape. Or people may say, say well, you sound on the internet like you have, a, you, have a, a, you know, a four chin or something like that or, or something to hurt my feelings and I'm, I'm just laughing off I'm like okay you know because I learned to do that I, I'm, I don't get pissed off anymore at people making fun of me online I just you know if you make fun of me on my YouTube channel I'll just block your ass you know or I'll block you on Twitter so I don't have to talk to you I'm a very nice person and I just want to bring you guys out this video and anyway uh, if you liked what I had to say put it down in the comment section below what your opinion on what I had said and also drop a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys later.